I have returned from the gas station, Timmy. It's time for Hoi4 A to Z. Just kidding. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> See you in five weeks! Hello everybody, welcome back to a series I started a while back called Hoi4 A to Z where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4, the popular World War 2 strategy video game. Ever heard of it? I'd be surprised if you somehow haven't. How did you even get here? Who are you? Wait a second. Do you even exist? My demons! And yes, it's me! I'm back! I've returned after a short break doing all those mods, I've finally finished them all, and we're getting back into Hoi for A to Z, where I will bring up that if we reach 700k by the, before I finish this series, uh, I will be releasing every single episode left <laughs> concurrently! Which means I, you could literally get 14 days of videos. Um, so yeah! Please hit the subscribe button. Look, I'm this however many way from 700,000 subscribers. But you know what? If you don't hit the sub button, don't even care. Still gonna do it anyway. Well, I say I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm not gonna do it all at once. But I will be doing it anyway. <coughs> But first, a quick word. Today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. The year is 2022 and protecting your online information has never been more important. Which is why I use Surfshark VPN because it comes with a variety of different features to keep you protected online like their clean web tool which will search any websites you go on for any malicious content out there to hurt you. And let's not forget it is a VPN service so with just a click of a button you can move around the world to access region locked content. And with over 3,000 servers in 65 different countries you you can say goodbye to region lock content for good. But the most important feature for me is that you can use Surfshark VPN with one login on all of your devices. That's right, unlimited devices with one login. And if you go sign up with Surfshark VPN down below by using my code, you get yourself 83% off and free extra months for free today by just signing up. And guess what? If you're not happy with the service for whatever reason, you can get yourself a 30 day money back guarantee with Surfshark shark vpn they really help support the channel and i know a lot of you guys have started using them so feel free use my link down below sign up today with surf shark vpn and get yourself protected online all right so we are still in the letter s a letter that i have a little bit of trouble pronouncing because my tongue is too big for my mouth <laughs> And now it's time to look at a part of the map not a lot of people even look at in the game. It's Sudafrica. You know, I can actually go ahead and prove that a lot, a lot of people actually look at this map. We've done this before, and the easiest way to prove it is to simply look to our right. Look at that. Bet you never knew there was a French island down here. South Africa! What a nation, eh? Famous for... Oh god, we should not look at the South African Wikipedia page. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, J.B.M. Herzog. <laughs> at some point, maybe you should just actually have a name, not just letters. So South Africa got their focus tree through the Together for Victory DLC. Probably one of our favorite DLCs ever released, right guys? Right? You gave us such gems as the New Zealand focus tree. Yeah. I won't lie, I have played South Africa about maybe once or twice before, so I have realistically no idea what to do. Because I won't lie, any way we go about this, South Africa is, uh... Not very far. Sticking with Britain would probably be the least headachey of these paths, but uh, on the on the flip side, we have the joining the Axis one, where we get to go to war with everyone on our border. We have the Communist one, where we have the opportunity to uh, hold on, go to war with everyone on our border. Which, okay, you may think is not that bad, considering they're right on our border. Which is true; they are right on our border with their colonies, not their homeland. Which uh, means if I wanted to actually take down Portugal, I'd have to land in Portugal. Which actually, all right, isn't that bad if Spain actually goes communist so that the fascists lose the civil war, but that is um, not gonna happen. But you know what? I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to suffer. Okay, oh. 
thank God we actually do have some semblance of a railway system. But for our resources, we have a whole bunch of chromium, which would be useful if we were going to do heavy tanks, but um, I'm not going to fight with heavy tanks in Africa, that's for damn sure. And for our industry, you may ask, we do actually have some pretty nice civilians, and militarily, we are looking dire. Okay, wh why does Canada and Australia, and probably New Zealand get a navy. The South African navy is laughable, apparently. So yeah, we're going communist. How could I go ahead and say no to an anti-colonialist crusade? Do not worry, my Ethiopian brothers. I will liberate you uh, when I go to war with every faction <laughs> on this planet. Well, South African railways is definitely going to come in handy because we will be building a lot of supply as we move further up through Africa. Um, I should actually rephrase that. If we move further up from Africa. All right. Spain, I think I can definitely help. Uh, I don't think I actually want to send any volunteers to Spain. Um, it, we'll just lose med. <laughs> so we could go ahead and send volunteers, but the only real outcome that will uh, come to is that uh, the men we send won't be coming home. There goes my only easy, plausible way of success right there. Anyway, let me just move the mouse 50 damn meters to get back to my country down here. That's right, Mom. It's no longer a phase. It's a lifestyle. Oh, see you later, Great Britain. Snooze you lose, eh? Oh, I guess I'm still in the Allies. Uh, do you think they'll keep me around if I go ahead and do this? Probably not. Thank you, Paradox, for this amazing South African communist flag. That's a little awkward. I realize we had all the railways. We did not bring the trains for them. Oh, hey, we still get a little bonus for a quote-unquote sending volunteers to Spain. <laughs> yes, we definitely sent our best over there. Oh my god, the mystical third research slot. We found it! Watch closely, dear viewer. There will be no tricks here, as I create the train. With my new founded train abilities, I will ask for a member of the audience to close their eyes as I pickpocket their trains. Now for my next trick, where I make all of my friends disappear. Right, uh... Got a lot of decisions all of a sudden. Uh, immediately have ran out of actual building slots anyway, so yeah, the railways are probably gonna come in handy. Now let's dot some supply hubs around too. That's 1940, I'm just taking my time, building up, waiting for the time I declare war and will immediately fail. Well, I get the feeling they may say no to this, but you'd never know if you never ask, really. I'm also having to ask Vichy France, which, uh... <laughs> I feel like they might be even more inclined to say no. Oh no, what a hell of a surprise this was. So, oh, first up will be Portugal. I can see this going amazing. It's not really like the taking the African land the problem. It's the part after where I'm just going to be endlessly at war with Portugal. There's a bit of Hoi 4 trivia. Not having supply is actually incredibly detrimental to your war. I, I think the next part might be the actual difficult one here. You wouldn't just want to go to war with all of the allies. Hey, well, this can only go mildly terribly, I reckon. Oh, thanks, I've got the whole team here ready to support me. <laughs> there we go, now we can recreate the Zimbabwean Empire. Wow, what a baby poo color. Hey there, I do like that flag better than the one we had before though. I think it is safe to assume I have a couple of enemies in the world right now. As you can see, we are making some astonishingly great progress here. It may look like, okay, that I've been pushed back a bit, but no, it's a tactical retreat. I need <laughs> way more men <laughs> than I thought I might. <laughs> Perfect, just the sprinkling of perfection on this already horrible war. As right, so the plan is, we wait for them all to die of old age. Oh, oh, Spain joined the war. I didn't realize, okay. Is that handy or not? Now, I think just the waiting around seems to be doing the trick here. They all do appear to be uh, slowly dying on the front line. Alright, I've been sitting around for long enough. We're gonna attempt another push. I was gonna go ahead and micro it, but uh, yeah, their troops are just 
Not looking fresh, shall we say. Even look to Europe. Please don't be losing Germany. Oh, and this is gonna make things very complicated. You could, like, at least just try to pull something out the Soviets. I would be happy. You got a ran on your side. Come on, dude. <laughs> at least Japan's doing something, okay? We just made one hell of a breakthrough over here. Uh, there was, like, no troops at all defending this whole section. So we're just gonna go in and rush through. Oh, funny seeing you around all the time. Thing is because it's so slow to walk around Africa. They can't even retreat fast enough. That push worked, but uh, yeah, as you can see, we need to um, we need to bring up some supply to the front lines. There's so many different nations I'm fighting up. You got Turkey, New Zealand, Australia, France, Mexico, America. It really is the World Coalition versus Mutapa. Yeah, we even got the Liberians here. Right, America. It's time for a <laughs> race for the bomb. Running out of equipment, and I'm running out of manpower. We are already up to service by requirement, and we are trying our best. Yeah, we're just gonna have to micro the rest of this. And by the rest of it, I I don't know how far we're gonna get here. Okay, for the life of me, I've never had a more uh, bloody battle than the battle for the Belgian Congo right now. Uh, it has been... <laughs> Very bad. I'm pretty sure the majority of my casualties have come from the Congo. All right, here we go. The front is finally moving again. They had to call in reinforcements from the Dutch. Go ahead. Play South Africa. You get to liberate Africa and all of your remaining sanity from your brain. Oh! Never thought I'd be seeing that this game. Also, you may be wondering, it's 1945 and there's something that I missed uh, probably a while back because I've just been zoomed in my wing for a, uh, a long time. Yeah, Soviets died. So has, like, the majority of Asia. But don't worry, the Germans still found a way to lose it with their great ally, Italy. I... I feel like that was a bit unnecessary. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, sir, <laughs> we've pretty much capitulated and secured Italy. What should we do with Sicily? Why? I've got an excellent idea. Hey, well, to be fair, though, the, the, the Axis lost Italy, but the, uh, they gained an island in their place. Ooh, we may be able to pocket a whole bunch of Allied troops down in Africa if we get lucky here, but they are pulling out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, that is one hell of a pocket, even though it's 1946 and these numbers mean nothing. And we have also made it through Egypt. Pretty much unopposed. They are our, uh... Not a lot of troops up here. The AI keeps desperately trying to uh, save this pocket, and every time they do, they just put more troops in there, and I repocket it. There's so many in here now. I'll have a separate pocket within the pocket. <sighs> Ain't that a beautiful sight? Africa is almost liberated. We've just got all of West Africa to deal with now. It looks like North Africa up here, though, is also pretty lightly defended, probably because the Italians and the Vichy France are keeping them all busy and locked down. Hey, look, it's a brand new pocket of fresh troops that just arrived to die. Yes, Liberia, my arch enemy, finally will meet in the field of battle. Oh. Wasn't that epic, really? See, France has just decided to be in Italy now. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and assume they probably didn't see that one coming. Oh, damn. Probably should have saved my nuclear bomb for that. Oh, well, we've done pretty much all I can be bothered to do. 1948 and we've done a pretty good job, I suppose. Uh, we could never really get a peace conference. I mean, we could, but I'd have to keep playing for another four hours. Instead, why don't we end off by creating some new friends from all of the friends we lost. Uh, look at that. Wow, epic. Let's liberate everyone. This is gonna be so fun. That's right. If I can't win, I will lag the game down and you can't win either. Alright, I guess we'll have to click through all of this now, eh? I even just, like, clicking them. There's like a wee bit of lag that happens, but look at that. Look at that. We got loads of brand new friends. Wow. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Best part is too look. I just lost half my factories. Hey, well, that was South Africa. Uh, it was uh, definitely a interesting 
game. I, I hate it, I won't lie. But hey, next time I'm sure we'll have a lot more fun than we did in South Africa. <laughs> but hey, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below to carry on your Hoi 4 A to Z journey. And remember, gotta get me to 700k subscribers. If you, if you watch these videos and for some reason you don't hit the sub button, why not, eh? You can watch more of this. <laughs> Goodbye.